Hey guys, Zalonius here. Welcome to another video on the channel. In this one today, we are going to be looking at the best midfielders tier list. As always, I base them purely on how good I think the cards actually are. Again, I want to comment. I get a lot of feedback on these videos. A lot of people saying they really like the content. A lot of people saying they love these. But then quite a few saying, how can you do these tier lists when you've clearly not used all these players? Before we go into it, I'm going to count how many of these players I have used at some point. One, two, three. I've used the Champions League Brella, which is nearly the same. So I'd say that's pretty much four. Five. I've used the 96 Modric, which is based the same, but do not got a five-star weak foot. Not used Crows or Depay. I've used Van Dijk. I've got his loan. I've used Guimaraes a lot. I've used Rabiot. I've used Pedri. I've used Bellingham. I've used De Bruyne. I've used Beckham. I've not used Seidorf. I've used Zidane, Xavi, Gerard. I've not used Socrates. I've used Hullet. I've not used Awa. I've used Vieira, Mateus. I've used Zambrotta. I've not used Milner. Apparently we put him in twice. I've used Benzema. Varate, I've not used Bay, I've used Vega, I've used Lampard, I've used Goretzka, I've not used Marshall or Kante, I've used Smolinko Savic, I've used Marina, Lorente, and Sanchez. So I would say out of that, that is probably three quarters of the card at a minimum I've used. And out of the ones I haven't used, I'd say half of those I've used at least some version of them. But like I say, if you've not used Modric's team of the season, but you've used his 96. It's the same card, just one has a bit better week for. When it comes to these videos, these are some of the more popular videos I seem to do on the channel that get more views. Ultimately, it's a content creator. If content gets more views, that is a good indication. That's the content people want me to do. Can you do these videos and have used every single player? No, just don't physically have the time or, more importantly, probably on FIFA, the coins and means to use them all. To sell and buy all these players costs a lot of coins. That's just the way the game is. As I always say to people, when you've played thousands of games on each FIFA, you have a pretty good grasp of how these players play anyway. I've played a lot of games on old gen and new gen this year, and I've used most of these cards. So it does wind me up a little bit when I get comments saying, this tier is stupid, you've not used all these players. Sure, I've not used all of them, but I've used more than three quarters of them nearly every time we do one of these videos. So There we go. Kimmich, in my team right now, what do I think of Kimmich? I think he's very good. I think at this point the prices are pretty all over the place. Kimmich, not the quickest, but he's pretty decent. Shot, not the best. Physical, he doesn't feel insane physical in game because he's small, but he does. He is pretty strong in the tackle. Elite defending, great on the ball, great passing. 4-4. Four, four. I'm going to have Kimmich as an A-tier player. Kimmich doesn't have an elite shot. Not the most physically imposing, but he's very good at a lot of stuff. So I'm going to have him there. Bernardo Silva. Elite going forward, but really poor physical and defending. Not an elite shot. I'm going to have him B tier. He Are you sick of getting out teamed on FIFA? Want more coins to build that God squad you've always been dreaming of? Check out utnice.com. The best place to buy coins for FIFA 23. They're simple, easy to use. Use code ZELL at checkout for a 5% discount. Check out utnice.com today. He's kind of somewhere in the middle of an attacker and midfielder. Gavardio. Just done his SBC, been using him, really like this card. Gavardio's future stars is one of the best centre-backs in the game. When he came out, he's not clunky, but he's not amazing on the ball. But he's definitely good on the ball. Ridiculously good physical defending. Rapid. Great shot. Pretty damn good passing. Five-star weak foot. He's pretty much an obvious S-tier player. Barea. Not got the weak foot and skill moves of his Champions League card, but I'd still probably rather this card as a more well-rounded stats. He's basically, to me, Kimmich, but a bit more well-rounded, so he sneaks into the S-tier for me. Musiala, 100% S-tier, one of the best attacking midfielders in the game to have centre who can go forward. Modric, like Barella, a bit worse in the defended physical, but got a five-star weak foot. Crows. Obviously S tier, 5 star, 5 star, nearly 90 plus on everything. Crows is fantastic. Depay. Now, I've not used this version of Depay, but I have used different versions of Depay, so I don't know what his body type's like. He's insane physical in the game. Great shot. Ridiculously good passing, insane on the ball. And then he's got 90 plus defending physical. 5 star, 4 star. S tier to me. Van Dijk, in the debate for best midfielder in the game now. Ridiculous card. Bruno Gomares. A card I used quite a lot when he came out during Tots. Um, 
he's good. But he's free star, free star. I don't know why EA with all the cards they were doing only made him free star, free star. Doesn't feel slow, doesn't feel quick. Maybe slightly off the curve there now. Good stats, but the free star, free star really hold that card back at this point of the game. Rabio, really good card. I'd probably go an anchor on him. I don't know. You could maybe go Shadow or Engine to fair. Maybe Engine. It's tough. Like, there's a lot of chem styles this guy can have. <coughs> Five star weak foot, six four. Elite in most areas. Rabio's a top tier player. Pedri. Five star, five star on this Pedri. Um, really good across the board. Not the best defending or shot, but he's that good elsewhere. And the fact he's five star, five star, I mean, he does get into this S tier for me. Bellingham, probably the best midfielder in the game, in my opinion. De Bruyne, now this might be a controversial one. I don't like De Bruyne that much on FIFA anymore. I'm going to have him in the A tier. I just don't think he's physically very imposing. I feel, even though he's got 95 dribbling of card, he doesn't feel that cracked on the ball. He's a bit slower than some of these guys. Not as imposing, not as great defending. He's great. And still, like, he's very close S tier, A tier, but that's where I'm going to have him. Beckham, at this point in the game, great going forward, but not the best defensively, not great physical. I think he's fell off compared to January when he came out. Seydorf. I've used prime Seydorf, and I think I used the, um, yeah, I used the mid Seydorf earlier, so I know what his body type's like. Um, this is just a juice version of him. Good but not amazing shot. Elite passing, ridiculous physical, great defending, good on the ball. I'm going to have him high A tier though. I just don't think he's quite in that S tier. Zidane, right up here. Top tier card, of course. Xavi, I'm going to have him C tier. Small, not very good in, in terms of the physical imposing. He's like a miles worse Modric or Barrea. Maybe he could be B tier, but I don't think he's quite up there compared to some of the other cards. Gerard, five star weak foot, but he's quite slow um, at this point. Not the best physical. Defending's okay. He's a bit clunky. Going to have him probably B tier, low end of it. Socrates, nearly 90 plus on everything. This Socrates is right up there in the debate for best midfielder in the game. Uh, Hullet, up there again. Probably have Hullet around there. Awa. Um, four four. It's just very similar to like the Berea Modric's, but quite a bit worse in some areas. Vieira was a card I didn't like a lot of the year, but his body type, and much improved stats and weak from this card really elevate him. Mateus, I think he plays very very well in game. Um, I'm probably gonna have him around here. He's a really noticeable nuisance and very hard to play against. Zambrotta used him, really liked him. Um. 90 pace, 89 shooting, like everything's basically 90 plus. This Ambrose is right up there in my opinion. Milner, not used him, but he looks pretty good. Um, I've not used a Milner card this year. That Centurion's one was okay, but um, this Milner, bit clunky, poor finishing, okay to decent physical, high end B in my opinion. This Benzema's fallen off a bit, so I'm going to have a B tier. Variety. For me, I really like Verratti and one of my favourite cards in terms of how he plays. Still think he's quite good enough in some areas to be S tier. Baye. Five star weak foot. He can't shoot though and he's clunky. He can't shoot and clunky at this point in the game. I'm going to put him behind some of the other players. Vega. His defending's poor. The rest of his game's insane so I'm going to have him A tier. Lampard, pretty comparable to Gerrard. Goretzka, A tier to me, but not good enough to be S tier. Marshall, pretty much S tier to me, ridiculous card. Kante. Now, Kante's foot birthday was an awful SBC, in my opinion. This one, though, five star weak foot, actually legit, like really good pace. Shot's not the best, but his passing's elite. Great on the ball, great defending. I'm going to put him top end S, not S tier, A tier. But I think he's a bit expensive for what he is. Milinkovic Savic used him and thought he was just ridiculous. But he is quite clunky and doesn't feel as good as his stats should suggest. But he's still insane. Marino, solid, but not much better than some of the others. Lorente, so good. 
um, probably around here somewhere. There's just a lot of incredible midfielders at this point. Then Renato Sanchez around there as well. I think they've got a lot of insane midfielders at this point. We've probably forgot a few cards. Um, for me, the top five that I've got here, pretty set in stone in my opinion. And then a lot of these guys are on there. And then after that, honestly, you could like any of these A tiers could be borderline S tier. I think the B tiers definitely aren't up at the top end, but there's a lot of ridiculous cards at this point of the game. Appreciate you guys watching this video. Let me know in the comments what you think, if you disagree with what I've said. Thank you for watching. Have a great evening. Peace.